What's up, guys? Jeremy Clark here at Phil's Jackson on X, coming to you from the Premium Tier Futures Discord. That's at Premium FTS on X. And I'm just going to show an example of how to use stacked imbalances uh, using the footprint chart inside of Jigsaw. So I have this uh, earlier call out screenshot that I made. You can see there was a number of stacked imbalances right here in this area. And let's see if I can run a, another circle on that right there. So there was a sell side imbalance right there. Price then moved up. You got a little buy side imbalance right here. This pushed up to this area. We got a little absorption event right there. Uh, let's see if I can just dial that in a little better. There you go. Okay, so we're looking for these zeros to, to signify a closed auction. You see 33 and zero, 33, uh, sell, 33 lot sellers to zero buyers. Um, that kind of shows a sell side absorption there. Same thing at the top. You've got no more sellers at the top, and you've got this buyer's absorption at that level. So price zoomed back the other way. So we had a big uh, sell-off right here, 1588 lot, 598 and 167. Price bounced, came up here, and I caught this little uh, absorption signal. It got me thinking short, and I knew that this 844 lot at 5634.81 was going to be retested. So I marked these on the chart. Uh, price did continue up from there. And eventually we uh, ended up getting, I think, a um, buy side absorption. And I'm going to show that in the video right here. So just swapping over to the video. Let's clear these out. And so as you can see, we've got that sell side absorption, we've got a buy side initiative uh, action happening right here. I marked the 5634.81 level as the price where price should pull back to it. And you can see we got this um, two closed auctions on the five minute chart up here. That kind of signified a possible top to me. And so I'm anticipating a drop back to 5634.81 and then a bounce back to the high, which would be 5641. Uh, I think 5641.50 is where this eventually tapped out before it, it dropped back down. So I'm just going to scroll ahead a little bit here. Okay, and you can see I wrote in sell side absorption, this orange circle, buy side stacked and balanced, this orange circle. Okay, moving forward a little bit. You can see price continued higher. We got past that little uh, closed auction here. So I'm really looking for a, a buy side absorption. And my plan is to wait for it to pull back to 5634.81. Just showing you I have that marked. Um, moving forward, there was unfinished business right here on 5632.50. And I want to mention that because Price did come back to this line at 56.34, and it did bounce back up to the high. And then it failed. And when it failed, where did it come back down to? It came back to this unfinished business, this incomplete auction right here. Um, you can see there's a 117 lot seller and a 93 lot uh, buyer, and there's no zero. So this auction was still open, or or this is a failed auction. I mean, there's still liquidity there. And market makers are not going to let that stand. So they're going to come get that liquidity. Okay, so moving forward here. This is a rather long video. It came out to about um, 50 minutes. So I'm just going to blast through as much as I can. So right here, I'm showing you, I'm watching the, the NQ as the correlated market. And you can see NQ has dropped off of the uh, view app right here, which is this blue line. And I was looking for this um, imbalance right here. There's a sell side imbalance right around uh, this 19 number. Looking at the delta, there's a lot of selling happening here. And you can see the seller starting to stack up. So at this point, I brought in the ES DOM. And just to look, same thing. Um, this would be the trading DOM on a one lot, or I'm sorry, in a one tick compression. So no compression on this. So um, just scrolling forward here. See price is starting to top out. I I did write that there was a possible absorption right there. 
bringing in the um, power meter, you can see there's a lot of sellers hitting the DOM here on ES. So I want to see the same thing happen on NQ. And typically NQ would kind of move just a little bit ahead. So ES might be running higher and, and NQ starts to drop and you start to see that there. So just scrolling through here. And now you can really see how the sellers have begun to uh, build this wall. And it's right at the value area high it is now breaking. Uh, I'm targeting, obviously, 56.32.50 is that unfinished business level. But this this particular move, I'm targeting targeting 56.34.81. And you can see NQ is kind of teasing us right here. It's just below the IB range, and it's just below value area low, which is a good sell-off point. This is a retracement, so I don't necessarily want to get into this. I'm, I want to go long once we get back down here uh, because anything can happen during these moves. Um, so I'm just going to scroll forward here. As you can see, price did bounce up. Uh, I wrote that we have unfinished business. We have a stack sell side imbalance right here. Um, this is a key level to hold or fail. We're, we're up above it. See the sell side of balance, we're up above it. So that means there could be more upside. If we get below this 56.39 stacked imbalance, it starts to get more interesting. You can see we printed another stacked sell side imbalance right there. So these two are right, right by each other. There's somebody big is trying to sell right here. So I just brought in the NQ DOM. We're still below value area low and, and IB low on NQ. So that's a good sign. Scrolling forward. I have those stacked imbalances marked, the sell side imbalances, and I'm looking for, uh, you can see I wrote uh, LVN, there's a low volume node that happened right here, and it pushed below these stacked imbalances. So as long as we're below that low volume node, and you have these sell side imbalances, that tells me price is coming back down. So just moving forward here, boom, we got another sell side imbalance. This time it's below the previous, so that's a good continuation sign. Price continues to fall here. You can really see how uh, price was stacked up on the sell side on the offer on ES right here. Uh, this is with two tick compression, this one. And we're right at the point of control, which is right around 56.38. So this is, you know, this is a long time coming. We're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 minutes. So this is an hour, this little arc right here so far um, since that initial buy side and balance right at 56.34. So moving forward, uh, again, now I'm looking at the ES and the NQ side by side, and you can see they are. there's a lot of sellers stacking up. There was an absorption event up here that, that was probably this 56.41 area, um, and it's starting to look real thin below. It's starting to look real weak on NQ. There, there's not a lot of buyers on the DOM, and we're we're testing that IB low. So previously I mentioned IB low, I think we were below IB high, and now NQ has fallen so far, it's now gonna break this IB low right around 72. And that's what, what's happening. There's just nothing to support or, or to reverse this move. So price is gonna keep falling. Again, I have these stacked imbalances marked. And I've circled, this is the target right here, 56.34.81, you can see that 1006 lot that's where the buyers came in and pushed this higher. That's the uh, sell side absorption, if you will, right here, or, or the push that happened. So we're coming right back to that level. Takes a little more time, a little more up and down. This is why I don't like to sell retracements because look at how it just bounced back up. But again, we never got above this stacked imbalance right here. We were kind of right at 56.39 again. Again, a low volume node came in. There's no buyers there, there's heavy sellers. And I'm just showing you the swing chart right here. So we'd be looking for a retracement into the 70% zone, which would be 56.34. I'm going to scroll that back for a second and just see if we can uh, pop that back in. Where'd it go? This. So from this uh, buy side imbalance to the high of 56.41.50, looking for this would be a 70% retracement on the Fibonacci. So I'm just gonna let this play out here. Uh, we are within just, gosh, about three ticks of the target. So watching the DOM, 
pretty heavy on the sell side delta. Excuse me. We're getting more sellers coming in. This is that level. This is that previous buy side imbalance. There it is. So I'd like to see a strong reversal in this area before I get long. It would prove to me that these buyers are still here. They're still serious. I'm going to go ahead and scroll forward just a little bit. See where that takes us. Okay, there's a new footprint uh, forming right here. And again, we have uh, closed auctions on both of these two footprints. Scrolling forward, this is where the bounce should be happening. Looks like we might back test it again. Okay, now we got a strong move there. There's uh, some low volume nodes happening. We're definitely getting a push. Um, once we get above these stacked imbalances, these previous sell side imbalances, that's a really good indication that if these hold right around 56.39 as support, uh, that would be resistance turning to support. Then this can go hit the high at 56.4150. See buyers coming in. And I'm just marking uh, the move here. This is what I called out earlier based off this previous sell side imbalance. And this is where you could have entered long uh, if you wanted to kind of swing this to the high. And it's just continuing on here. Now we started to get a lot more buyers coming in. I started to get interested. And I decided I wanted to uh, to play this, even though I was really trying to focus on recording the video. Uh, I did want to play a little bit of this move right here. So I brought in the ES DOM on a two tick compression. I've got NQ. I'm watching NQ, I'm watching this build up right here to see who's going to win. That 81 lot has me interested at 77. This 500 lot and this 400 lot are clearly beating out these sellers. You know, so can we get two or three ticks out of this? I'm waiting for this little pullback. There's this buy side imbalance right here. Let's see if this holds. Uh, it looks pretty strong in this area. Just waiting for that to hold. We've got about five minutes left on this video. So um, just waiting to see it, how this plays out here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll forward just a little bit as this candle plays out or this footprint plays out. So we already touched the high once. Look at, how, look at how it shot through. So I happened to get long right there uh, as we broke. So that was kind of an after she goes play, if, if you follow Grady. Um, I ran 10, 10, uh, a 10 lot entry and I just immediately took profit at plus $200, whatever tick level that was. And I was hoping to capture more, but you're going to see this kind of, we're getting this huge volume volume capitulation. And there we go, kind of moving higher. I should have taken profit right there. This 141 lot was going to hold. Um, but I was just really focusing on playing the, uh, recording the video more so than, than getting a, a play in here. So I went ahead and added uh, a couple ticks on my stop. I think I'm protecting at about 250 there. And I think as I see the momentum draining out, I try to manually stop out at plus 300. And I'm pretty distracted here. Normally, I wouldn't be rolling the DOM around all over the page. This is just to kind of show you guys. So I'm going to stop out right around 56, 43, 50. There, there it went. And you can see we got this big... Uh, volume buy off so to speak and just kind of scrolling through here now i'm going to um i'm just going to show you i think the finished products yeah so this was this is how it finished i think i entered right around here off this buy side imbalance i was really targeting three ticks with a 10 lot and then i just held a runner and got a few more ticks out of that but this whole um this whole move took an hour and plus 20 20 30 30 40 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 
80 minutes for this whole thing to come back and retest or back test this uh, 56.34.82. And they went right to the high, clearly went past the high, but um, you could have, you know, targeted from uh, 56.34.80 up to 56.41.50. And that would have been a pretty, a lot of confirmation on that play. Uh, I did circle down here. We've got this um, previous uh, unfinished auction right here, 117 sellers to 93 buyers. There's no zero in that column. There should always be a zero. And if not, then it's likely to get retested. And eventually that's what's, what happened. Price uh, kind of spiked up here and ran out of gas, and then it came back down to this level uh, on the next drop. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, uh, show me some love. Feel free to hit me up with any questions in the comments, and I will get back to you. There is a link to our Discord, and if it is not working or needs to be updated, just shoot me a message, and I'll, I'll add you guys. Discord is free. We trade every day, Monday through Friday, uh, nice hours, and uh, you're welcome to join. All right, thanks so much. Phils Jackson on X for premium tier futures at premium FTS on X. You guys have a good day. Trade safe and keep it green.